All right, Charlotte, get in formation. Oh. Beyonce. Oh. Oh. Beyonce at the bank tonight, 8 p.m. People very excited about it. One of the biggest yes. concerts uh, of the year here in Charlotte. Uh, I think also first female headliner at yeah. Bank of America Stadium. Yeah, America. definitely so. Uh, as well, because uh, Larry, as you know, there's not been that many concerts no, there hasn't. over the years. Not as yeah. Dave Tepper came to town, he said, opened it up for lots of concerts, mm -hmm. and yeah. I think we've had more. And this yeah. will be one of the highlights, actually. Right. And Lots this, of money. this, by the way, the the only stop here in the Carolinas on the Renaissance tour. So, um, if you want to see her, mm -hmm. now's the time. Still, tickets available. Right. And so, like we were saying, I mean, not a lot of concerts until recently, and they bring a lot of money into the city. Mm -hmm. But it's not just folks who are spending money on those hotels, the food, the drinks. So the Queen Bee herself is investing in small businesses right here at home. So Charlotte is one of the cities on the Be Good Foundation's Black Parade route. And the goal of the program is to celebrate small business owners through these grants and support services. The hope is to help with sustainability. So we actually sat down with one Charlotte business that's in the running for these grants on how they would use that money to grow their business. Check it out. For us, that looks like hiring people of color like ourselves to work for us as we need more support with marketing and just all the things that are needed as the company grows. We are first time business owners and first generation business owners. So um, anything or any funds could definitely help stimulate us to where we could create a new car deck as well and promote new parts of our business. So as part of the Black Parade route, 100 black entrepreneurs are selected in each city on the route and they attend these luncheons. Then a thousand small businesses will be given grant opportunities or some support services. And then finally, there's going to be $100,000 in grants for small business relief, and that's for each and every city. As for Beyonce's commitment herself, she dedicated a million bucks to the project. So, wow. so amazing. Nice. I love to see the support. And just like the giving back, that's oh, what's absolutely. really cool. Well, people are so focused on the concert, and understandably so, but there's all these things happening behind the scenes exactly. that, that people don't even realize. And, and, and unless you've been living under a rock, you know that Beyonce just won <laughs> of several concerts happening uh, across the country this uh, this year. I feel like people had this pent up concert mm -hmm. sort of demand, oh, yes. you know, over the last few years to, because <laughs> of the pandemic. So uh, everybody's going to concerts and no bigger names than Beyonce and Taylor Swift. Uh, Emily Akeda has more with how these two megastars are dominating the summer. Five months, 50 plus shows, three and a half hours long. I'll be your host this evening. My name is Taylor Swift. As Taylor Swift ramps up the first leg of her Eras tour, fans are going to great lengths to be here. Have you ever devoted so much time and money to seeing an artist before? No. <laughs> Just Taylor. No. Only Taylor. And I'm rich today. One survey shows the average Swifty spends about $1,300 on concert-related expenses. Think travel, tickets, accessories. That means the Eras Tour could generate nearly $6 billion in consumer spending in the U.S. alone. What would you compare Swift Mania to? The Beatles come to mind. Um, Queen comes to mind. From a spending perspective, I think it's incomparable. And it's definitely girls running the world this summer. <laughs> Traveling fans for Beyonce's Renaissance tour caused inflation to rise in Sweden. This is the best day ever. It is the best day ever. And Barbie just had its best day ever, becoming the first movie directed by a woman to make one billion dollars. While Swift's concerts in LA this week are drawing fans of all ages. So I'm just gonna take a wild guess here. You're the dad. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> I'm the dad. Soon, Swift Mania will go global. But with new dates in the U.S. next fall, it's not the end of an era just yet. So Emily Ikeda, NBC News, Los Angeles. And so I know tomorrow we're talking about, you know, more numbers, economic impact, especially here in Charlotte for Beyonce's tour. But we were talking about it this morning, too. So Forbes, Forbes put out an article saying that Beyonce's tour actually could out earn Taylor Swift's by about 500 million bucks. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Melissa, in. Um, <laughs> Melissa's going tonight, says uh, her daughter and she have matching outfits. That's great. Oh, I love that. Melissa, yeah. take me. Send the Our pictures. Last minute ticket, like, yeah. We'll show them tomorrow. I know, uh, I know, traffic, weather, big deal. Very big, Oof, yeah. Yes. Who wants to go first? I don't know. I'll go with traffic. Okay. Right. You know what? Because I slay, okay. That's right. If you're wearing your stun of shades, you're going to notice that you maybe want to pick up some merchandise because the reason why these roads are closed in front of Bank of America Stadium, and that is at South Mint Street, South Graham Street, and Brooklyn Village Boulevard, that's because those merchandise tents are being set up. So this is going to be a all-day event because this starts at 11 a.m., so it means as early as the afternoon, you don't need to Go to the concert. You can still get.
get your favorite T-shirt that maybe says I was serve lemons, but I made lemonade. Hello. So, yeah, there's going to be a lot of activities down there in general. It's going to be a party regardless of you going or not, so that's why those closures start very soon here, 11 a.m. until midnight. This is going to be a long concert, so oh, yes. you're definitely getting your money's worth. I mean, you guys say the, the, the traffic's not going to break your soul. No, it's not going to break your soul. Not oh break my your God. going to be crazy in love for this weather. Y'all right. are doing it. For today, look for 7 p.m. The gates open at 5.30. it would be a lot of people out there early, but 7 p.m. right before the concert, mid-80s. Uh, you know, I really think as far as weather, it, it could have been a lot worse uh, mm -hmm. you know, a couple of weeks ago. Oh, so sure. these are typical temperatures. And I keep seeing a little bit here and there in the, some of our computer models uh, that's a 20%. That's a 80% chance there will be no rain or storms. Where I think for the most part, it should be pretty much rain-free. Uh, but, you know, this is that time of the year you can have a little pop-up sure. here and there across yeah. the area. And, Larry, when you look at the map also, it looks like the severe weather warnings are to the left, to the left. So oh, hopefully we yeah. can keep them to go. the box to the left. Good, so. good, good, good. I am yeah. being outdone with the park. Right, and I'm kind of mad about it. That's right. So this summer we got BB and T. Barbie, Beyonce, and Taylor. Yeah. That's right. Oh, wow. Remember well, BB&T? I mean, years it's years worth ago. noting, okay. t Taylor has not added Charlotte yet to her tour. You know day what? I, I'm, I would mm -hmm. almost bet that next year she'll be here. She'll add something. Because to Charlotte. Okay. David Tepper is not going to let her not come. To me, it seems like a big miss on her part. Well, absolutely. I think, I'm, I'm biased, too. I think she I'm I mean, biased. So. You know, 70,000-seat stadium, yeah. she could fill it up. Right. Yeah. right. Well, I'm right. glad that we got Bay here, so right. we're, we're good. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. Folks, let us know if you go. You know, take plenty of pictures mm -hmm. and videos. Tag us as well. Please. We'll, yes. We're going to be sleeping, but <laughs> we'll, trying to sleep. we'll watch Have it all fun. in the morning tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great time, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning. Have a blessed day.